In this video, I'll be doing a quick demo of the new Teams calendar, which merges together the Outlook calendar into the Teams calendar. Now, if it's not yet on by default in your tenant, you'll have to turn it on, but in the upper right, you should see a new calendar switch right here, and I'm gonna turn it on. That's going to switch me into this new Outlook calendar. Now, if you look on the left, it looks a lot like Outlook. If I have other calendars, you can see them, they show up right here, just like it would in Outlook. My date picker is right over here. I also have now these little drop downs for day, work week, week, month. I can even change the time scale. So if I wanna change my time scale to maybe 60 minutes, I can do that just like I can in Outlook. We'll change that back to 30. You can save some of your views. So if you have different views here, you can save your view and then switch to your view, similar to Outlook. I can go to one day, two day, three day, four day. So if I wanna have a four day calendar, I can do that. So a lot of those same options that you have in Outlook. I can drop the filter and I can filter by appointments, meetings, categories, all sorts of great stuff here. I'm not gonna show every single option, but just like in Outlook, all these different filtering capabilities. And then on the three dot menu, you can share this. So if I wanna share my calendar with another email address, I can go here and share with Alex and he can view all the details versus edit versus delegate. You can do delegates now from your team's calendar. I'm gonna say share. So that's shared with him, we'll close. If I go to the three dot menu, I can print my calendar. So just like in Outlook now, I can get a nice printout view of my calendar, show mini month, print detail agenda, and we even have calendar settings. So if I go here for calendar settings, all these great options, you can add time zones just like in Outlook. So I wanna add a different time zone. It's really easy to do that. You can add things like weather widgets here. You can say, I want that in Fahrenheit. Events from email, shared calendars, bookings with me. So just a ton of stuff. We'll click save and then close. And look at this, I have a nice little weather right here. Click here, oh, it's my area. It's always raining around here. So a ton of calendar view improvements. And lastly, even the meeting form itself. So when I click here, it has a nice little pop out. This looks a lot like Outlook. And I can double click to open up the full form. I see the availability here. Is it an in-person event or a Teams event? This form is very similar to Outlook. You have a nice rich space to do all your good stuff like emojis and attachments and loop. It's in-person versus Teams, response options. So a ton of updates and improvements to this new Teams calendar. If you want to keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.